Hello everyone, and welcome to an old school RuneScape guide showing you how to complete the quest, Making History. This quest is considered intermediate difficulty and is short length if you are able to use the teleports recommended, about 10 minutes long. The requirements for this quest include completion of the Restless Ghost and Priest and Pearl quests. In your warning equipment, it is required that you wear a Ghost Speak amulet. It is recommended that you also wear weight reducing gear and a Ring of Dueling. In your inventory, you'll need a spade, sapphire amulet strung. If you have not completed Ghost Ahoy quests, you will also need two ecto tokens, or one bone, one pot, and one bucket, or a teleport to Catherby or Port Serum, and 3,500 gold for the charter ship to Port Phasmatis. It is recommended that you bring Ardoin teleports, ectophile, enchanted lyre, or teleport to house tabs if it's in Relica, necklace of passage. Stamina Potions, and Super Energy Potions. There are no enemies in the quest. Linked in the description below are maps for more information. To start the quest, you must speak to Jeral, who is located at the outpost northwest of Ardoin. The fastest way to get there is by using a Necklace of Passage to the outpost. If this option is not available to you, you can teleport to Ardoin and run from there. Speak to Draw and ask him to tell you more. A cutscene will occur. Afterwards, tell him that you will make a stand for history. You can then ask about the traitor in Ardoin, the ghost in Port Phasmatis, and the warrior in Relica if you would like. At this point, be sure to check your quest journal to make sure making history has begun. Travel to Ardoin using Ardoin Teleport. Walk directly north to the Silver Stall and talk to the Silver Merchant. Ask about the outpost. He will give you an enchanted key that is used to find buried treasure. This key works very similar to that of the strange device. It lets you know if you are near the treasure based on the temperature it tells you. Travel to Castle Wars using your Ring of Dueling. Exit Castle Wars and travel north across the two small bridges. Walk northeast to a single patch of white flowers. The key should be steaming hot. Dig here. You will receive a chest. Use the enchanted key to open the chest to receive a journal. Read the journal. Next, travel to Port Phasmatis by using an Ectophile. If you have not completed Ghosts Ahoy, you will need to use the Ectophuntus to receive Ecto tokens if you do not already have some. Or you can travel to Catherby or Port Serum and use the Charter Ship for 3500 gold. Once in Port Phasmatis, speak to Drawalac, who is near the General Store. Talk to him again to let him know you have a sapphire amulet. Talk to Melina. She is located in the building northeast of the general store. You will give her the sapphire amulet and she will disappear. Speak to draw a lack again and he will give you a scroll.
Next, travel to Relica. You can teleport using an enchanted lyre or teleport to House Tab if it's in Relica. Speak to Blannon. He is located east of the Long Hall. Afterwards, speak to Drawn. He is located near the northernmost dock. Say that you are after important answers and that you know him as a famous warrior Drawn. He will ask you questions based on the information that Blannon told you. The answers are, he wields an iron mace in battle, he eats rats for breakfast, he eats kittens for lunch, he eats bunnies for tea. His favorite drink is red spider blood. He is 36 years, 8 months, and 21 days old. He studies the 5th and 4th ages. His house is on the northeast side of town. His brother's name is Blannon. His pet cat is named Fluffy. And 5 and 7 is 12. Now, you'll need to report your findings back to Geral. Again, use a necklace of passage to the outpost or an Ardoin teleport and walk. Talk to Jeral, and he'll give you a letter to bring to King Lathis in East Ardoin. Travel to Ardoin with a teleport and walk west towards the castle. Go up the stairs and King Lathis will be located in a room to the east. Talk about Jeral and the outpost. He will give you a letter. Right click on the letter and select examine. It should say a sealed letter to Jeral. This will ensure that you receive the correct letter. Return to Jeral and speak to him one last time to complete the quest. Congratulations, you have received three quest points, 1,000 crafting experience, 1,000 prayer experience, 750 coins, enchant a key which allows you to go on treasure digs, access to the museum in the outpost, and the ability to complete Master Clue Hot Cold Treasure Trails. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this guide and found it helpful. If you did, please subscribe with notifications on, and I'll see you next time.